Hello, in this video we're going to look at the concept of couples. So let's have a look at what we've already um, done on forces. Here is uh, a random object and sometimes you can get two forces on the object that are equal and opposite. Now in this situation um, nothing's going to happen because the object is in equilibrium. Okay, the forces, one is acting this way, one is acting in the opposite direction, and they're both the same. So they will cancel each other out, and there'll be no change in the object's motion. It will just carry on either stationary or at a constant velocity uh, in accordance with Newton's first law. But let's have a look at a situation where we have equal and opposite forces, and they do cause a change in motion. And that situation happens when the objects are not acting along the same line. So you can see here the difference between that and what we've just had. We have um, a force that's acting to the right and an equal force that's acting in the opposite direction to the left. But because the points of action of the forces are actually at different points on the object uh, and uh, crucially not along the same line of action, um, then the object will rotate. So this, these are forces that will cause rotational or angular motion. Now the object doesn't have to be a circle, it can be any object here. We can see a rectangular object with the same situation, uh, with the same forces on it, and that too will rotate. It's also worth pointing out that you don't need a pivot um, for a couple to act. It can act on any, or a couple, they can act on... Um, any object and here's an example of of a couple when you're driving along in a car if you want to turn right you push upwards with your left hand and pull downwards with your right hand therefore creating two equal and opposite forces on the steering wheel which causes it to turn so with a couple there's no translational motion or rather no change in translational motion um, but there will be a change in rotational motion and if the forces continue to act the object will accelerate so let's take that idea a little bit further. We can actually um, work out how much the couple will cause rotation of the object, uh, the turning effect of the couple, uh, which is also called the torque of a couple. So what we're going to do now is look at the torque of a couple. So the torque, torque of a couple is how much of a turning effect those forces have on the object. Um, and it's defined this way, okay? So the torque, of a couple is equal to one of the forces, just one of the forces, multiplied by the perpendicular distance between them. Okay, so one of the forces multiplied by the perpendicular distance between them. So obviously they're equal uh, as well as being opposite, so we only take one of them into account when we're working out the torque. All right, so torque is effectively equal to force times distance, and therefore it has units of Newton meters. Newtons for the force, meters for the distance. Okay, and those are the units of torque. So um, here's a straightforward example uh, where we have two forces um, of um, magnitude F and they're separated by this distance D. Now this distance D is actually perpendicular to them, so that's an easy one. We can just use that distance here. But if you look over here, the forces are separated by the length of the bar here between these two red marks, but that's not the distance we want because it's not perpendicular to the lines of action of the forces. So here are the forces and they're acting at an angle here. Obviously they've got to be in opposite directions, so this one's acting at the same angle except upwards. So the distance we want is the one that's perpendicular to both the forces, uh, which in this case is this distance. All right, So that's the distance between them that we want. So obviously we've got a right angle triangle here um, with that one, that, there's the right angle in there and then you've got a line here and a line here and as well as the force line there's your triangle there. So quite often with couples you have to work out the, the perpendicular distance between them first before you can work out the torque. Okay well I'm not going to do any examples of that in this video, it's a nice short video um, but I'm sure we'll have a look at those in class. Okay thank you very much.